Daily news, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Amila Entertainment TV. Subscribe to the channel or follow us on all our social media platforms on Instagram, Prince Amila Entertainment, Facebook, or Prince Amila Entertainment, Facebook group, or Prince Amila Entertainment TV. Welcome to another edition of our daily news, breaking news, everyday news. Today is the 26th of February, 2022. So, guys, here's the latest regarding to our citizens our brothers and sisters who are in ukraine and so the government started the process of evacuating 256 registered zimbabweans in ukraine following a military operation initiated by russia on thursday the military operation which has led to a horde of flights in and out of the ukrainian capital Kiev, was conducted by russia to safeguard its borders claims are also that the ukrainian and neo-nazi forces backed by the west bombed citizens with russia heritage in sovereign republics of Luhansk and Donetsk. Zimbabwe has already made representations to different countries neighboring Ukraine to allow safe passage for its citizens. Information, publicity, and broadcasting service permanent secretary Mr. Nick Mangwana, through his Twitter handle, said once citizens arrived in any third country, the government will pay for their hotel stay and buy their flight tickets from Berlin back home. The Zimbabwe Embassy in Berlin has registered 256 citizens in Ukraine. It has advised nationals to leave Ukraine if it is safe to do so and travel to any third uh, country. Currently, there are no flights out of Ukraine and leaving is to be by other means. Hope will be given when nationals have accessed any of the following third countries Poland, Romania, Slovakia, Hungary, Movda, and Russia, he said. The USA and Western Europe through the NATO alliance have since 2014 threatened the security and stability of the Federation of Russia by violating post-Cold War agreements that Ukraine should not join NATO. After the Cold War, NATO alliance agreed that Ukraine would not join organization, a portion they wanted to change before Russia conducted the operation. So guys, that's the latest here regarding to Zimbabweans who are in Ukraine. 256 people have registered with our Zimbabwean government. To uh, Zimbabwe, and so guys, we're gonna keep you in the loop regarding to any new developments happening there in Ukraine. And uh, so, this is a daily news, a breaking news, everyday news on Prince Amila Entertainment TV. Remember, guys, to like, share, comment, and follow us on all our social media platforms Instagram, Facebook, and also on our Facebook group, which is a Prince Amila Entertainment TV. This is a daily news, breaking news, everyday news. Thank you very much for listening and watching. More on this with guys. Bless up. Sinister. Thank you.